lot of interest there. We didn't end up uh, executing on any of them, but we got into some advanced negotiations with one that looked like the economics were somewhat <coughs> a lot of questions, still a lot of challenges there. In terms of other bioenergy sources, I need to learn more. I'm curious, you said you got all the way to advanced negotiations. Better. Can you say, was it ultimately the numbers or something else that well, you know, came forward? Advanced negotiations is go too far. We were beginning to ask a lot more questions than we were interested in. Um, sorry, what was your question? Is that well, it, we just, did it, did priorities change or did you just not, none of the proposals fit your criteria? It, it's one of those that if you do an RFP, it sort of implies that you're going to do something. So what makes you not do it? Mm -hmm. It's always, it's always yeah. curious. You know, we did another project that was that was more promising, okay. better better economics. You had and funds that could do one or the other, and right. you choose one. Right. One was going to take us to um, all of our renewable needs. So once you do that, then there's no need to do sort of follow on. Biomass is interesting is that it has a firm capacity component to it, which is which is valuable versus renewables like solar and wind, which don't have as much. We have time for one more question. Just curious, where do you find good public information? The best place to start is reading our integrated resource plan, which is available on our website and all IOUs have an integrated resource plan. They have to as part of the regulatory process. And it's it's a wealth of information really. It talks about all our existing resources, what resources we have, what we estimate for sort of uh, resources going for what are available, and then and, and even says we think we're gonna do this particular mix of the peakers and combined cycle gas plants and Maybe some biomass, this much wind. <coughs> sort of assume set of assumptions. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, show our. And so how do you overlay? Well, if regulations change in this respect, or certain things, other things, and then you start to get more and more. This is how we back up to the Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what happens if there's a. All if all coal gets banned in the region, what happens if there's a $25 ton carbon tax? Yeah, yeah those types of price of carbon. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the. Um, I think the public. They must have something similar. Sales City Lab, I know does. Yeah, it's it's kind of mess with that. Some happens, some don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's it's regulatory required. That's how much disclosure they have. I mean, and so I was going to add, uh, and then. Uh, so so PUDs in the Northwest look at the six power plant, which is uh, the Northwest Power Conservation Council. That's that's their template, but. These guys are right. They each have their own internal document. But that six that six power plan, which is about 150 pages, it's freely available on the web. It's what they're all marching to.